Waverly Hills Sanatorium, a name that echoes through the annals of haunted history. The name alone sends chills down your spine, conjuring images of ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena. It's a place where the veil between our world and the next is thin, almost transparent. Here the past and present intertwine in a dance of shadows and whispers. A place where the echoes of suffering and despair linger in the air, like a heavy mist that never dissipates. The walls themselves seem to breathe with the memories of those who once walked its halls. This isn't just a spooky story to tell around a campfire. It's a deep dive into the history and hauntings of one of America's most infamous locations. Waverly Hills Sanatorium stands as a monument to the past, a relic of a time when tuberculosis ravaged the population and this place was a beacon of hope and despair. As a paranormal investigator, I've stepped into countless haunted places, but Waverly Hills, it's different. The energy here is palpable, almost as if the building itself is alive. It's a darkness that gets under your skin, a feeling that something unseen is always watching, always waiting. The stories of ghostly nurses, shadowy figures, and disembodied voices are not just tales. They are experiences etched into the very fabric of this place. It stays with you long after you leave, a haunting memory that lingers in the back of your mind. Every creak, every whisper, every shadow seems to follow you, reminding you of the time you spent in the presence of the unknown. This is the true story revealed, a journey into the heart of darkness where the past refuses to stay buried and the spirits of Waverly Hills continue to reach out from beyond the grave. Our story begins in 1910. Tuberculosis, a deadly disease, was sweeping across America. Waverly Hills Sanatorium, perched on a hilltop in Kentucky, was a beacon of hope. It was a place of healing designed to isolate the sick and stop the spread. Waverly Hills was more than just a hospital. It was self-sufficient. It had its own zip code, a post office, and even a farm. It was a community, a community built around a terrifying disease. The hope that Waverly Hills represented was soon overshadowed by death. The death toll from tuberculosis was staggering. Thousands died within those walls. The staff, overwhelmed and heartbroken, struggled to keep up. In 1961, the sanatorium closed its doors. The battle against tuberculosis was won, but the victory came at a terrible cost. Waverly Hills stood silent, a monument to the countless lives lost. Years passed and Waverly Hills fell into disrepair, but the stories, they never died. People whispered about strange occurrences, shadowy figures moving through the corridors, unexplained noises echoing in the dead of night. Paranormal investigators like myself flocked to Waverly Hills. We felt the energy, the residual pain. We saw orbs of light, unexplained vortexes. Objects moved on their own. This wasn't just a building. It was a magnet for the other side. Section 5. The Nurse and the Boy In the shadowy corridors of Waverly Hills Sanatorium, two stories have etched themselves into the fabric of its haunted history. Two stories stand out in Waverly Hills' grim history. Tales that have been whispered through generations, sending shivers down the spines of those who dare to listen. The first is the tragic tale of a nurse who hanged herself in room 502. This room, now infamous, holds the echoes of her despair. She was pregnant, unmarried, and heartbroken. The weight of her circumstances became too much to bear, leading her to take her own life in that very room. Her spirit, they say, still roams the halls, weeping. Her sorrowful cries can be heard in the dead of night, a reminder of her tragic end. Then there's Timmy, a young boy who died within these walls. Timmy's story is one of innocence lost amidst the suffering that permeated the sanatorium. He loved to play ball. The simple joy of a child, now a haunting memory that lingers in the air. Visitors claim to hear his ball bouncing, even see it rolling down the hallway. The sight of the ball moving on its own is both eerie and heartbreaking. Timmy's laughter, though, is said to be chilling. The sound of his ghostly giggles echoing through the empty halls is enough to send chills down anyone's spine a stark contrast to the joy it once represented. Section 6. Waverley's Ghost Fact or Fiction. Skeptics will tell you it's all in your head. The power of suggestion. 
But I've seen things in Waverly Hills that defy explanation. I felt the icy touch of a hand that wasn't there. I've heard voices whispering my name. Is it the spirits of the dead trapped between worlds, or is it something else, something we can't even comprehend? The answer, my friends, is shrouded in darkness. Section 7. A Legacy of Terror. Today, Waverly Hills stands as a chilling reminder of the past. It's a popular destination for ghost hunters and thrill seekers. Tours take visitors through the decaying corridors, sharing the stories and the legends. But be warned, Waverly Hills is not for the faint of heart. It's a place where the line between the living and the dead blurs. It's a place where fear is palpable. Section 8, Conclusion, Waverly Hills. A haunt for the ages, Waverly Hills Sanatorium. A place steeped in history and shrouded in mystery. Once a beacon of hope for those suffering from tuberculosis, it has now become synonymous with the paranormal. A place of healing turned into a house of horrors. The walls that once echoed with the sounds of recovery now reverberate with whispers of the past. The very air seems thick with the memories of those who once walked these halls. The stories, the legends, they linger like the ghosts that are said to walk its halls. Is it haunted? Many believe so, and the tales of ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena only add to its eerie allure. The evidence speaks for itself. Paranormal investigators have flocked to Waverly Hills armed with their equipment, capturing chilling EVP recordings and unsettling night vision footage. Each piece of evidence adds another layer to the mystery. But are you brave enough to listen, to walk these darkened corridors and face the unknown? The fear is palpable, the tension almost unbearable. Every creak, every shadow could be something more. Waverly Hills remains an enigma. Its history is as haunting as the spirits said to reside within. The building itself stands as a monument to the countless lives that pass through its doors, each leaving an indelible mark. A chilling testament to the power of the paranormal. The old medical instruments, the ghostly aura, all serve as reminders of a time long past, yet still very much present in the minds of those who visit. It's a place that will forever hold a dark and terrifying grip on our imaginations. Waverly Hills is not just a building, it's a story, a legend, a haunting that continues to captivate and terrify. Will you dare to explore its depths?